Hey guys, what is up? It is Vinny Designs here with a brand new video and today we are going to go over a free software that you can use to record your screen and also your game. So it's a, a pretty basic software. There aren't many complex um, options, but it's honestly a good software to get started with. Um, if you're not very good at editing or um, recording videos for YouTube, this software is for you. So let's get right into it. On the top left corner, you're going to see some... Uh, text options so you can enter the title of your video directly from here and also the description of your video so that's a pretty good feature if you don't want to have to go to YouTube and then enter it there um, right here you have a, a drop down menu and you can choose the topic or category for your video so let's say you're doing comedy or um, videos related to gaming you can choose either one of those and you have a bunch of other options to select from as well um, at the bottom you have keywords so I'm sure you guys are familiar if you if you guys have uh, uploaded to YouTube before when you upload to YouTube you have to enter keywords to describe your um, video and you can do it directly from the software and once you upload it to YouTube with the software you don't have to enter it again so that's a pretty neat feature um, you also have the option to add some music and EasyVid uh, provides some uh, royalty free music for you to choose from and honestly this is a great feature for beginners who do not know how to look for uh, free music to use on YouTube videos and YouTube is honestly very strict with what type of music you choose you can't choose any video or uh, any music to upload onto YouTube so you have to choose royalty free music that that the artist has uh, the artist has given permission for so easy of it has some um, uh, a ver variety of different uh, category of music um, you have some like instrumental uh, music you have electronic rock uh, music to choose from um, and I'm sure a lot of people don't want to use music and the thing is um, you can't really get rid of the music from your video when editing on uh, EasyVid uh, but what you can do is either use um, one of the music option called silent machine and what this is is basically a, a kind of a, a blank audio file but it's not you can probably hear like a, a buzzing or a, a static -y sound in the background and that's pretty much it it's it's called silent machine and that's gonna be over your video I personally do not like that because that's just distracting and it's not professional so um, you can either use your own music or what I did was go online on the internet and download it if a free blank audio file so once you do that, you can just click use my own file, locate your um, your uh, audio file. So I have it right here. It's called silent audio file. Click open. And then when you uh, play the video, um, it, it would be pretty much just your video and no background noise. So that's a pretty good feature. Um, at the bottom, you have a voice mix. And what this is, basically, it controls... The level of your um, audio your speech and the music that you choose so let's say you want your music to be louder you can um, click this this uh, control bar to the right and then it's gonna increase the uh, audio of your music and then lower the audio of your speech or you can do the opposite by dragging this to the left um, I can't do that right now because I don't have the audio file on my timeline but when you do have audio um, on your timeline you can control that you can also add a watermark so let's say you don't want other people to steal your steal your videos you can um, add your uh, watermark here you can just choose like a png file from your computer and then it'll display on your video okay so now let's get into the main um, recording features of the software to your right you're going to see these um, buttons to your right the first one is a uh, game record so right here this allows you to choose a game you can just search it here but the thing is, it doesn't actually um, start recording the game. It, all you're doing is pretty much searching that game on, on your web browser and it's going to show you how to record it. But that's kind of stupid in my opinion um, because what you can pretty much do is go to the next option called screen capture or capture screen. And right here you can pretty much open up your game and then hit start capture. Um, this is the basic way to record your screen. But if you go to the left, it says use advanced settings. And this is what I recommend for... Um, people who are um, who, who want more features for your um, video so click use advanced settings and then you're gonna 
come up with a few different options to choose from. Um, the first one is for, the first one is microphone capture, and this is pretty much um, your option to start recording your um, your audio audio with your uh, microphone. So let's say you want to do a commentary, you can just select this option um, when you have your microphone uh, plugged into your computer, and then it's going to start recording your voice while recording the video as well. Um, the next option is the the audio setting. I'm not really sure what this is for. I think it's the way that the audio is um, uh, heard on your device. So let's say you have a headset. Um, you can choose uh, the headset mode and it's going to optimize the audio for your headset. If you have speakers, you can uh, change it to speaker and then it's going to optimize that for a speaker. I personally can't select it for some stupid reason. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, maybe I don't have a yeah, it's, it's probably because I don't have speakers plugged in. Um, but let's get right into the next option. It's called transparent mode. And this mode, what it does is when you start recording, you you get like a control bar to your left, uh, left bottom side. And that allows you to play, stop, or pause your video recording. Um, and that's going to sh show on your video when you upload it to YouTube. And that's kind of um, not very professional for... Uh, big youtubers um, but if you're just getting started on youtube that's okay um you just have like a small box to your left um and uh, what this does is pretty much makes that box transparent and it's, it won't be completely gone you can still see it but it won't be completely visible as well um, the next option is select capture area and this this option al allows you to select the um the area of the screen that you want to record so you can either click and drag from the left corner to the right and you can select the uh, entire screen or you can choose a part of your screen to record so let's say you just want to uh, record this box right here you can click and drag and then it's gonna just record this left corner so that's a pretty good feature um, the next option is to pretty much record your webcam if you have a webcam connected to your PC you can um, do webcam directly from the software and that's pretty much it. And then you can just hit start advanced capture now. Uh, I'm not going to go through that because I'm already recording using a, another software. So that might mess up my recording. But you can go ahead and click this button to record your videos. Um, the next option is record voice. And this is pretty much like recording your voice over the video. And uh, so let's say you have a video already recorded or you record without your audio. Um, so you can hit this button and you can do... A commentary over the video so that's a nice feature if you want to do a voiceover rather than a live commentary um, the next option beside it is called synthesized speech and this is a pretty nice feature in my opinion because I'm sure not everyone has a microphone to capture their voice with so um, what this option allows you to do is convert the text that you add using this button right here and it takes that text and then converts it to audio and it's not the best audio because it's not very organic it doesn't sound real um, it's almost like a computer speaking so um, it's not great but it's it's a good option if you can't record your own voice and obviously the text button um, this allows you to add text on top of your video um, you can choose the background color that goes behind the text choose the text color itself and a font there's actually a fairly Good amount of fonts to choose from um, I'm not sure if you can install fonts from your computer and then choose here I, I don't think you can do that um, and what I would like for EasyVid to do is give the option to choose a transparent background because um, I personally don't like having a background behind my text when um, putting it on top of my videos unless you want you do have the option to choose a background color so that's pretty much the uh, main features Another option is to add um, other videos or pictures from your computer that you have recorded separately. So let's say I have, um, let's, let me go to my videos. I have uh, an intro, right? I have an intro right here. I can click and drag it to my timeline or click the open button. And what that did is um, open up a video that I had recorded previously. Um, I can hit the play button and it's going to play it right here. Um, and you can you can notice that it's not it's not playing the audio because this video does have audio but it it doesn't play it, and and uh, that's one reason why I do not like editing with this or recording with this uh, program.
but if you do not want the background sound of your video this is um it's fine it's not a big deal you can just put some music over it or um, do commentary over it um so let me show you how to increase the size of your timeline you can just use the plus and minus buttons that are provided and then you can see that the timeline image increases and uh, when you select it and then right click you have more options to edit your video you can either delete it duplicate it change the speed of it and split it so the most comp or the most um, used options are going to be either speed to increase the speed of your video or um, decrease it or split it so let's say you want to cut the video in in half you can just um, click your timeline um, uh, what is what is it called like a pin to the area you want to cut you can right click go to split and then that's that, what that pretty much did is split that into two different parts so I can choose these two separate parts now and, and edit them separately so that's pretty cool um, now what what else you can do is upload it to YouTube so once you're done recording and then editing your videos you can finally hit the button called upload to YouTube and it's gonna bring up the YouTube agreement and then you can read that because there are some uh, um, terms that you have to agree to so if you don't do not agree with some of them then don't um, use this feature um, but if you do agree to it click agree and uh, you're gonna have to continue you can log into your YouTube account using your email right here and then it's gonna allow you to upload it directly to YouTube um, so that's pretty much the um, over overview of the software and how to use it and some of the main features of the software um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed learning about a brand new software if you haven't heard of it it's free to download it's basic it's not very complex and uh, if you don't don't want to use um, other software like OBS or Camtasia Studio and editing software like Sony Vegas or Adobe products then this is a great software for beginners um, you can't you cannot export your video to um, like an mp4 file because this software is made for people to record edit and then upload directly to YouTube so um, it, it, it's, it kind of sucks but um, it's, it's a great option for beginners who want to just upload to YouTube so um, yeah I'm gonna leave a link to the download of the software in the description it's completely free you can download it and uh, just start following this tutorial and learn how to edit videos and and um, use the features that are available on the software so thank you so much for watching if you guys learned something new please leave a like it uh, shows me that you guys did enjoy this video um, if you guys didn't let me know why I can improve um, my videos in the future but um, I'll see you guys later peace out Thank you.